Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to be doing my brow routine and first we're going to start off with combing through our brows with a spoolie and then afterwards I'm just going to show you how I just tweeze my eyebrows a little bit and I use these cute little tweezers that I got with my wet brush and I don't go too crazy. I just pluck a couple hairs underneath my eye before I do my eyebrows. I have a couple of different eyebrow products I'd like to show you that I use sometimes. This is my e.l.f. Uh, eyebrow pencil with the spoolie and then the actual eyebrow product on the other side, sort of like the Anastasia, you know, brow pencil and all that jazz. But today I'm just going to show you how I use my NYX powder because this is my favorite way to do my eyebrows because it's the most natural. Some of the brushes I use are this Morphe angled brush right here and then this crown angled brush and also another crown angled brush, but lately my favorite's been this little elf brush that I got with a smudge pot. Going in with the darkest color, I'm gonna take the little elf brush and put a little product on it, and if we have too much, just tap it off. And then how I start is right in the middle, and I'm just gonna outline the underneath of my brow, and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker towards the tail and the center of the brow. And then once we get up to the front of the brow, I start having a lighter hand so that way the line isn't as harsh, harsh and it's more of a natural look and it's very faded. Picking up some more product, I'm just going to the top of my brow and I'm also outlining that part. Then after that, you just start filling in your brow in the sparse areas and you start from the middle or how I start is from the middle to the tail and I just make the tail the darkest the middle slowly to the front gets a little bit lighter and I'm just lifting up some of the hairs to have natural like hair like strokes when I'm using the brush and I like my brows to be a little bit more dramatic in the front in the sparse areas because as you can tell my eyebrows in the front are kind of sparse so I just fill it in a little bit more but not too much. And yes, I do think that this eyeshadow is more warmer than what my actual eyebrows are, but I'm okay with it because, you know, it kind of matches my hair a little bit, even though my hair is a little bit darker. Just to blend everything out, we're going to comb through our eyebrows with the spoolie. Sometimes I like to clean up my brows, so I take any concealer, but today I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me, and I just put little dots underneath my eye, and then sometimes I put little dots above my eye. And then I go in with my Morphe M167 Concealer Brush, which I think is great for cleaning up your eyebrows and doing your concealer with. It's just an all-around great brush. And I just sort of take the product and just quickly like underline it under my brows and then after that I sort of drag it down and blend it in. I like to drag it onto the lid and spread it out so that way I could use it as an eyeshadow primer instead of just putting an actual like eyeshadow primer on top of the concealer that we use to clean up the eyebrows with. Now I know this looks weird with the angle that my hand is at trying to blend it out, but I mean, it's okay. <laughs> but here I am just blending it out on top and then after I use the brush to blend it all out, I'm going to take my finger and kind of blend it out so that way it blends in with my skin a lot better than just with the brush because the concealer is really light compared to my actual like foundation and skin tone color. Taking my e.l.f. Uh, concealer brush and this NYX single eyeshadow, we're just gonna set that concealer because we don't want it to crease. Then setting the eyebrows, we're gonna use a Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. And I'm just gonna run this through my brows and now a lot of product comes out on this wand. So afterwards, I like to go in with that spoolie like I had before. So when I'm done putting all the product in, I can just run through it with the other spoolie that has nothing on it to make sure I get all the extra out and it's well blended. 
but I really liked the brow product because it keeps my eyebrows in place all day. This is how I achieve my eyebrow look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please go watch my last video. Subscribe, comment, all of that jazz, and I'll see you guys next time.